Hello everyone, I'm Jacinto. I'm going to tell you what I've been doing this last semester in the course 415 Language Art Method for Elementary School with Dr. Tracy. Let's start the 10 most relevant things I learned about the art of writing. Number one, the writing process. The process that all good writers must follow. It has four basic steps, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. But guess what? There is no such a thing as writing process. Like in a drawing map, any direction is possible. Number two, writing workshop. It is to create a weekly working space in classroom where students and teacher work together, enjoy and experience the world like a true writer. It has three components, meeting lesson, writing conference, and the time for the author to share. It is meaningful because it makes students realize that they are real writers. Number three, conferring. It is a real meeting in which students and teachers have a private interview to talk about the students' writing. The teachers have the opportunity of knowing their students better and making them focus on what part of their writing can improve. It is the teacher's time to support the students and make them believe in themselves. Number four, shared writing. Here is where teachers and students compose a piece of writing together. Teachers take into consideration students' ideas and opinions. The focus of the lesson can be on punctuation, capitalization, comprehension, and so on. But be careful! It is important not to make grammar mistakes on purpose in front of the students. Number 5. Provision, the never-ending stage. It is the stage no one can do, but by revision, students discover the meaning of their thoughts, because writing is thinking. The revision is to consider if what they have written is significant and shows their ideas. The revision involves fully correcting, add or delete information, among other characteristics. Number 6. Do not isolate grammar. Research shows that teaching grammar in isolation is not usable. It's more productive for students to have tons of opportunities to experiment with the writing art instead of teaching them blocks of grammar rules. Then grammar goes with the written activities not out of them, so that students can internalize the rules. Number 7. Assessment. The assessment helps teachers and students alike. Teachers can design instruction, share progress and the needs of students, redo, remodel, change, and check what works in their lessons. Students benefit from such a teacher work. The assessment has three essential components, the what, how, and why. The what procedures, strategies, grammar, spelling, the how is the artifact, the sheet of the checklist, and the why is to empower students. Number 8. Conference with students. It's one of the most valuable tools to assess the progress of students, reinforce their strong points, and see their writing grammar holes. Also, it's the best way to reinforce the emotional bonds teacher students, which is the most meaningful part. All students must feel that what they want to communicate with the writing is important, interesting, and meaningful. Number 9. Found poetry. It's creating a poem from other texts, for instance. Write a poem from a non-fiction text. It is a getaway to other genders and a way to express emotion among other qualities. So, creativity! Number 10. The Wordless Picture Books. It is part of the imagination of the students. Do we not read when we are interpreting images? Reconsidering the Wordless Picture Books for teaching to write and read is attesting that reading is not just the coding. Now, I dare you not to think in a purple elephant. I hope you learned something in these four minutes. Thank you and goodbye. Created using Powtoon.